Hello. What you're about to see is a side-by-side -side comparison or a competition of the Raytheon CERT tool versus conventional breaching equipment, the jackhammer. The CERT device was designed to breach through concrete quickly so that lives can be saved faster. Raytheon designed this tool in conjunction with DHS based on their findings after 9-11 and the need for faster breaching tools. This competition is being conducted at the Fairfax County Search and Rescue Academy in Fairfax, Virginia in April 2012. On the left is an untrained person paired with a trained Fairfax first responder. After a few shots in about a minute and a half, she is relieved by a Raytheon trained employee who is familiar with the CERT tool. On the right side is the Fairfax team using their traditional breaching equipment or the jackhammers. Due to the competitive nature of this breaching method comparison, the Fairfax team selected their best operators. Wow, on the first shot, the correspondent was not properly positioned and did not anticipate the power of the CERT tool. She was able to adjust to the recoil and still control the CERT unit and get ready for the next shot. After only two CERT shots, the concrete is seen spalling and falling from the back of the slab. The Fairfax team prepares a second jackhammer to increase speed. Notice they require hoses to power the jackhammers. Not shown in the picture is the support equipment needed to run those jackhammers. After one minute and 47 seconds and only three shots, the correspondent is relieved by a Raytheon CERT operator. A trained CERT team can fire the CERT tool about four times per minute. The Fairfax team is now operating two jackhammers simultaneously and continues with three team members. The jackhammer method is physically demanding as you can see from the video. Here we see a large opening that's now visible in the slab on the CERT side. Clearly the Fairfax team has not made as much progress. The jackhammer team is doing their best but the CERT device is designed to breach concrete faster. Okay, it's four minutes, 22 seconds, and the breach using the CERT tool is complete. The CERT operator checks to see if any more shots are required. And just a note here, both teams are going to stop when they have a hole that's completed and they're at the rebar. Rebar removal is a different process, and that is where both teams will stop. Okay, it's seven minutes and 19 seconds, about three minutes later. The jackhammer team finishes and they are visibly tired. Working with the jackhammer is much more tiring than working with the CERT tool. The CERT team was not tired in the least and would be able to do additional breaches and save more trapped people. The CERT team was nearly three minutes faster despite the slow initial progress with the untrained operator at the beginning of the process. The results are exceptional for the CERT. With the CERT tool, we can reach trapped victims much faster. This is a self-contained, safe, and portable tool, and it rapidly deploys to any disaster site. As you can see from the first part of the video, minimal training is required, and it's much faster than conventional breaching methods. The CERT device can punch an 18-inch hole in about 7 inches of reinforced concrete in less than 5 minutes. The conventional tools cannot make the same progress and require more support, generators, hoses, people, etc. The CERT device is made to breach concrete quickly and helps save lives faster. For more information, search the web for Raytheon CERT.